All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. In this video, we are in the lightweight division. Gervonta Tank Davis, according to a certain person, says who he wants next, and it is Ryan Garcia. Let's talk about that in this video. Right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. We are in the lightweight division. Gervonta Tank Davis just had a very, very entertaining fight with Roly Romero. And of course, the question becomes, what is Gervonta Tank Davis going to do next? Well, according to uh, one, of, uh, one of my favorite young fighters, I'm sorry, I know a lot of y'all don't like this guy, but I like this guy. King Ray Ryan Garcia says that Gervonta told him it would be him. Now, before I get into that, though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for checking out the video. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. If you are a longtime supporter or a subscriber to the channel, Thank you again for your support and talking this boxing with me on a daily basis. You know, we drop videos every day and we do the live streams every day. So there's always a really good boxing conversation to be had on the channel, whether you agree with me or do not agree with me. <clears throat> it's just about sharing your love for boxing and chopping it up with people that also love the sport. All right. So let's get into this. Uh, Gervonta Tank Davis is a star. Biggest star, one of the biggest stars in boxing, just broke his uh, box set a box office record for boxing at Barclay at the Barclay Center in Brooklyn this last weekend when he knocked out Roly Romero in the sixth round uh, to defend his WBA regular championship. Now, after the fight, people are obviously asking, okay, what is next for Gervonta Tank Davis in that division? And obviously, you know, well, not obviously, but that division is one of the deepest in boxing, uh, has some of the more well-known names amongst uh, hardcore boxing fans and a lot of very, very intriguing matchups. You have the uh, a fight coming up this weekend for the undisputed title in the welterweight division, I mean, in the lightweight division, which is between... Uh, uh, George Ferocious Cambosis and Devin the Dream Haney, uh, who are going to be fighting in Melbourne, Australia for the WBA, the WBC, the IBF, and the WBO titles. Uh, that The winner of that is obviously, you know, going to be the fight that most people are going to want to see Gervonta Tank Davis in. Um, and, but then there are also other probably more uh, realistic matchups that can take place as well. And one of those, I don't know how realistic it is because of the promoter, is Ryan Garcia. Now, Ryan Garcia, I don't think, you know, is really necessarily one of the top necessarily one of the top proven guys in the lightweight division. However, he is, you know, part of that really funny equation in the lightweight division where you have the uh, an almost a an inverse relationship between the number of belts that people that someone holds and the actual popularity that they have amongst boxing fans and the earning potential they have for uh for for uh a fight or how big a draw that they are and that is you know you have the major belt holders which are Devin Haney well Devin Haney and George Cambosis depending on who you're talking to um Devin Haney has the WBC belt, but I don't want to offend any of his fans by calling that a secondary belt in that weight division because I just don't feel like getting into it with you guys. But George Cambosis has the major belts with the IBF, the WBA, and the WBO, and he is franchised as a franchise title at, WB, at the WBC, and Devin Haney has the WBC belt, which is yet to be commonly referred to as a secondary belt because nobody other than Canelo Alvarez has that ridiculous franchise designation and just kind of whole messes up the whole thing um where where uh Gervonta Davis has a regular title and uh Ryan Garcia has none however Ryan Garcia is the one that is selling sold I think 13 12 13,000 uh tickets 
uh, at the Alamo Dome for his fight against Tago. And you have Gervonta Davis, who is the paper, is the only guy out there that is that is holding his, you know, has his own his own pay per view and holding his own on those with numbers on pay per view amongst the best guys in boxing, and is selling out, you know, eight almost almost nineteen thousand. Uh, tickets in the Barclays Center and has sold out, you know, arenas in multiple divisions. So, but Ryan Garcia says that in the ring, Gervonta Tank Davis told him, he screamed at him, you're next, you're next, you're next. So that is the fight that, according to Ryan Garcia, that uh, Gervonta Tank Davis wants to have next. Now, if my personal opinion on it is, you know, similar to what Leonard Ellerby had, what Leonard Ellerby, who was the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, what he had to say, which was like, we look, man, we've tried to make that fight twice with um with a uh, Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya. And those guys aren't guys are not serious about making that fight. Um, Ryan Garcia said that he would do, that he wants to do it in December. Uh, specifically, what he said was that, um, you know, because he has a fight that was just announced yesterday with, well, the word came out that it was that the agreements were made for it yesterday, which is a fight uh, that was supposed to actually happen last year uh, between himself and a former 126 pound titleist goes by the name of Javier Fortuna out of the Dominican Republic, that those that that is who he's going to fight next. I do believe the date is in July and supposed to be in Los Angeles. But then he said after that, let's fight. Uh, let's fight in December. Now, if I was Oscar De La Hoya, I'm telling you, man, I might just let it. I might let it go, man. I might actually go ahead and say, hey, man, let's go ahead and make that fight between him and uh, Gervonta Davis, because that is really and this is um, something that Leonard Ellerby said, CEO of Mayweather Promotions once again. And I agree, it's probably one of the biggest fights in boxing because you have every bit of the demographics that you need in order for a fight to absolutely explode. And hey, man, if Ryan Garcia loses to uh, Gervonta Tank Davis at this point in time in his career, it's not going to be a huge loss for him. If he's long as he's able to put up a very as long as he's able to put up a good fight, uh, Ryan Garcia's uh, star status will probably go up if in any way, shape or form he puts in puts up a decent fight with uh, with uh, Gervonta Davis. But the two of those guys, that is obviously the biggest fight that you can have in the lightweight division. Now, again, the things that would be holding up that from taking place are obviously whether or not Oscar De La Hoya is going to want to make that fight. Oscar De La Hoya has been very has been reticent to make big fights between or any like any real fights, you know, that are not in-house fights with or, you know, if he is doing a fight that's not an in-house fight, in-house fight means that it's another fighter that's signed to the same promoter. In this case, uh, um, uh, Oscar De La Hoya. Well, with guys like Jaime Munguia, you know, he's not, they did, he, they turned down a fight between him for a title and Jamal Charlo. Uh, it, and uh, Jaime Munguia has had, has been a, you know, has been around for a several years now, at least three, three or four years of him, you know, being somewhere near the top. And they have refused to make big fights with Jaime Munguia and just make in-house fights with him or fights with, that may not be in-house, but ones that you know for sure this man is going to, uh, is going to win. Biggest step up fight that he's had to date has been Gabriel Rosado, who, you know, pretty much, you know, gave Jaime Munguia a good fight, but is long, is long, long past it. I think he's they're probably going to do the same thing with Ryan and just kind of milk, continue to milk his popularity as long as they can uh, without actually feeding him to somebody like Gervonta Davis. It may apps may knock that dude out. But at the same time, you know, Ryan Garcia is he's a good he's a very powerful fighter, very fast hands and may, you know, may acquit himself well against Gervonta before he gets knocked out. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Uh, Ryan Garcia said uh, Gervonta Davis said it's next. We'll see. Not that confident about it, but if it happened, would be excited about it. Another likely scenario is, you know, for Gervonta's next fight is that the WBA could order the fight between he and the winner of Cambosis and Haney uh, to consolidate those belts. But that's a hot topic for another video. Anyway, you let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.